What's up guys and gals? We're coming in for a landing. It's time to join the Royal Air Force one more time as we attempt to defend our turf here on the Big Island. Now let's do this thing. We've hit the ground and that's another mission completed. The previous mission went pretty well, aside from the sheer volume of fuselage that's been shot out of us. We look a little bit like Swiss cheese right now. But I don't tend to think about it so long as we survive. As long as we make it through, a little bit of bonus cash right there. Optional, yeah, there you go. Let's get stacked up. We got some cash to spend. Got some money in the wallet. Gunners, how'd you do? Let's see if our gunners got enough for another level up. Because the gunners are by far, I think, the most important people on the plane. Everybody else is good, too. But if your gunners ain't leveling... Ah, uh, if your gunners ain't leveled up, they tend to struggle a little bit to hit even simple things. So, wow. We got ourselves a whole bunch of good stuff over there. So, we got some new helmets and stuff like that. Um, I'm not too worried about crew health right now. I think crew health is looking okay. We could focus on giving them helmets and stuff like that, but frankly, I feel okay. We got a service cap right there. That's going to make them run a little bit faster. We got a flak helmet right there, which I think is extra heavy and gives some extra armor. What's the difference between those two except one's just flat out better? I think the flak helmet is just flat out better. Uh, it's going to be good. What we're going to want to do is we want to put helmets on the gunners because they're the only ones that are getting hit nowadays. So, gunners, go ahead and give yourself some flak helmets here and just know that I believe in you and everything's going to be okay. Uh, you guys get shot far more frequently than everybody else by a long, long, long margin. And so if we can keep them, we got a land survival vest right there. No armor on it, though. Still just as sluggish, too. I'm happy with what we got going on. Do we pick up any training here? Let me have a look. Uh, as far as Duncan goes, we've got bailout, emergency dive, and emergency land. Lean and boost, so that's fine. Radio for recon, focus, focus. And secondary skill. You know, I've had you as a secondary gunner, and so just be a secondary gunner. So primary skill, he is a bomb aimer. His secondary skill is gunnery. I don't know if he levels up both of those simultaneously, but I'm assuming different activities give different XP. Kind of Final Fantasy Tactics style. Oh, uh, we can go with some new nose art. What do we get on the nose art? Oh, we got some cat's eyes, huh? That's pretty cool. I'm going to go with the cat's eyes. Wing art, what do we have? Got some dots. That's pretty sweet. I like those. And then our waist text. We can go with black, bomber crew. I'm going to go with white. And then we're just going to call it... The RAF Nerd Castle. There we go. Perfect. Ready to ro ready to rock, man. Representing. Representing for the cause. Uh, we got a lightweight fuselage over here. We'll lose a little bit of armor. But is it better? Oh, it's actually, like, worse. Okay. Uh, if we can get some new engines, that's all that I really care about. I need these engines to be a little bit sexier. That's going to be expensive as hell, though. Uh, it seems like the inner engines, the port inner engine and the starboard inners, tend to get hit a lot more. And so, I'm just going to go with standard engines, too, on the inners. So there it is. Our inner engines should be a little bit stronger. As far as everything else is concerned, we can go electrical, too, right there. I'd love to get radar, too, but we just can't afford it right now. Engines are what get shot up the worst, so I'm trying to focus on things that are... Pragmatic. The problems that we're running into, I'm looking for solutions to those problems that we keep running into. I don't want to upgrade things that don't matter. Let's go for this opti uh, search and rescue. Enemy ace is in the mission area. Oof, I don't know how I feel about that. These are both medium risk, huh? Let's get another one in the tank before we go any fuller or further. There's still some upgrades I'd like to run. We've never gone up against an enemy ace just yet, but from what I know, they tend to be pretty scary. Like, they tend to be a pain in the ass. Uh, there is an enemy ace in the area, but go ahead and take off. We'll go ahead and raise up on that landing gear the second we're good to go. Uh, we got some engines lined up in the middle. Give me a course over here. There we go. What kind of course would you like? Oh, I don't know. The dessert course sounds good. The dessert course sounds good. A little bit more weight to the fuselage, being able to be borne by the new engines, which I am very happy about. Supplies must be dropped from low altitude. The container has a parachute. It will drift if it drops too high. Okay, that's probably good to know. Uh, pilot, bring that landing gear up. Alright, so we're approaching London. Getting reports that Felix Fetter is active in the area. 
Right. Okay, well, I'll do what I can. I mean, we'll burn focus on him if we have to. Are we dropping bombs or like what are we doing right now? Let me go ahead and take a look and see what the UI is going to look like just so I'm not freaked out here. Okay, it looks the same as any other bombing mission. All right, sounds good to me. Everybody's got their helmets on. Everybody's ready to rap tap bang out here. Let's do this thing. Let's do this thing. Speed this plane on up for a little bit. All right, we got a new heading. Go ahead and get it done. As soon as we cross the channel, my guess is that we're going to start to see some pretty serious action. An enemy ace is not to be messed with. There's a good chance we might get shot up to the point where we have to ditch out on this one because the aces are basically bosses. Um, they have very, very good attack power, very, very good HP, and they don't tend to go down easy. All right, across the channel we go. Give me some navigation action over here. Okay. That's still and quiet before the storm. I have orders to stop you by any means. Enemy fighters have been spotted on radar. They should be dead ahead, I would think. And there's the ace. There's our boy. How many focus as he comes in for his first run? Getting rid of him is more important than anything else. Get rid of him. You. Focus. Yep, put the most serious fire. Whoa. This guy doing all kinds of gangster shit. Alright, so our supply run is over here. Let's keep it tight. All right, he's getting out of here good. We ran him off. Uh, we didn't score a kill right there, which is a little bit of a downer. Wish that we did, but we didn't. You guys go ahead and reload the guns while we wait. Uh, bomb site, please. Open the doors. Release. Oh, I forgot to select the supplies, I think. Uh, go ahead and give me another run right there. Oh, we got fighters coming in. There they are. Let's give him some loving. Yep, give him a couple love taps over here. Teach him a lesson about messing with the RAF. Alright, bomb sight's in. Not a whole lot of damage to be done. Uh, if you guys have access to focus, I'm going to highly recommend that you use it. Uh, bomb sight guy, select the supplies, and let's do this thing. There it is. Uh, looks like we got a couple of enemies shot down for right now, and we got to clear the area of enemies. Let's go ahead and support our allies the best that we can, and get our asses on home. Uh, optional objective, let's take it. We're still in decent shape. Uh, their ace didn't mess us up too badly, so I'm not that terrified. How are you looking on ammo? That's a little ways out. Uh, you reload. Reload for me, please. Give me my bomb sight. Let's see what we got here. Let's see what the enemy's hiding up their sleeve. I feel like this mission, we ran like a well-oiled machine. It was just focus that we needed. Focus is a really good ability. If you don't have it, you're going to struggle. Uh, the music is swapped up on us. That's got me a little bit worried about potential fighters coming in. There they are. Luckily, we done reloaded. Yup, put some fire on them. There it is. Give me some focus. Yup, fire around the clock, man. Don't let them have nothing. I want to see those barrels melt. Melt the hell out of those things. Get those things up and out of our face. Good job, pal. Good job, buddy. Uh, get down here. Go ahead and grab me some more ammo. And then we'll get back to it. I'm going to take a front gunner. Go ahead and get up inside the ball gun right there. We need a new heading. This game is fun, but there's a lot of stuff to focus on. But really, it all flows very well. Once you've picked up the basics of the game, it's a very easy game to play, but a very difficult game to master, kind of ignoring the chaos and not panicking. When you see things go wrong, you know, it takes a lot to not freak the hell out and be like, ah, and just like stab. Like, it's very easy to just like freeze in position because you don't know what to do. But uh, we're not doing too bad. We got 13 minutes of fuel left, so that's where it reports our fuel. We got engine extinguishers, so yeah, he can only do that from that seat right there, which explains why it didn't come up last time. I didn't need him to crawl out on the wing because he could have used the extinguishers from here. We also have a fuel transfer pump. 
tank one and tank two. Go ahead and run us real lean for right now. And then we'll take this thing on home. Where's the airport at? Give me another nav point. And pilot, go ahead and lower that gear. There we go. And let's get on in there. Let's get on in there. That mission went like clockwork. I'm pretty happy with the way that one went. I was actually really worried about the fact that we had an enemy ace in the area. But frankly, with focus, we managed to take care of that without, I mean, with minimal problems. We wiped him out basically in the first couple passes. And once he was out of our hair, it didn't seem like they really had that much left to fight us with. Bring it in nice and smooth. And there we go. Touchdown. Hopefully he doesn't like uh, crab walk it or anything once he gets down here. Very nice. Very, very nice, gentlemen. Go get some R&R, &R, take some time off, get a little nappy pie in. And I think that we're all going to be happy as a clam here. Mission success. Felix Fetter. Still at large. Uh, he escaped. We weren't able to kill him, unfortunately, but hopefully we'll pick him up later and we'll get rid of him. We do have the return to base bonus, and we've got some optional recon photos, so that's going to supply us up with a little bit of cash to spend. Gunners, show me that magic level four, Gunners. Show me that magic, wonderful level four. Let's get it. And so there it is. Very nice. So you can do custom heading now, and he could do a corkscrew now, which is pretty well. I'm going to do a corkscrew with somebody on the wing. So a corkscrew can incoming, dodge incoming fire if you use it with good timing. Okay. And we've got a two-slot equipment rack. We've got a 303 uh, plus an ammo feed, and we've got a sea survival vest. Uh, I don't think we'll need that. Well, I'll, I'll be honest with you. If we end up needing that, I have screwed up more horribly than you would even be able to assume. Uh, gun turrets wise. So the tail turret, we can go all in on a 303 with an ammo feed. So it automatically restocks the ammo. If we're going to do that, we want to do it on the mid-upper, but we can't afford the mid-upper for right now. It'd have to be the tail gunner. But that one doesn't have as much damage. You know, I'd rather restock the ammo than have to worry about anything else. So let's go ahead and do that. Tail turret's at level 2. Front turret doesn't give a lot of loving, so I'm not going to concern myself there. Two-slot equipment rack we can't afford, but we haven't really been using the one slot so far. So let's have a look at the fuselage and see what we can do here. Uh, so we can go with the front. Let's take the mid, and I am going to armor the mid. So there it is. Main rear is already armored. That's already armored. Go ahead and armor the wings as well. It's cheap. We can afford to do it. And what else haven't I armored? There we go. So plane's looking like it's in pretty good shape for right now. We should have quite a bit more HP, and we should be able to take a little bit more fire. Let's go to the briefing room. I get the feeling we got something nasty coming up. Got the feeling we got something nasty coming up. So we got a TDT battery dump. I completion, it's low risk. Or we can go back and we can hit critical mission operation chariot. So there's a commander raider and a penetrable U-boat ba base at the St. Nazaire. They will ram the base. It'll be quite a show. Let's do it. Let's do it. I'd rather get the rough mission off, rip it off like a band-aid first. Frankly, I feel like a weenie and a coward not taking the hard missions, so let's go ahead and do it. Let's go to the commando ship. That'll get us to Falmouth. And everybody's in position. A pilot, take us on up. It's time for another mission. Let's do this thing. It is time for us to be up and off the ground. Give me a navigational heading, please. I don't know if we're going to be bombing or just doing support in this mission, but we'll figure it out. Uh, we're up, and we've got our heading. Pilot, go ahead and uh, raise the gear real fast. Let's get moving. We're at low altitude. So Birmingham's ahead. Off on our way to Burmy. And so we've got the bomb boat, and we've got to defend the ship. So I assume we're going to be bombing U-boats, and maybe... I don't know. There seems to be a component of bombing in every single mission that we undertake. And so I'm not exactly sure the way that this is going to go, but I am interested in finding out. I am interested in finding out. Let's keep these headings swishing on out. Marked a new heading over here. Turn ever so slightly. So, Chesil Beach now. Chisel Beach. I don't know. I've never been anywhere, so I don't know anything about anything. 
so where is this ship at? What are we looking for right now? I doubt that they're going to be standing in the water waving flares and being like, Yo! Over here! So there's our guy right there. Uh, we want to pay attention to the radar screens for right now. I got nothing. Enemy fighters are on radar. Probably dead ahead, right? Ah, off to the left. I accept this challenge. Give me some fire. Go ahead and focus. Let's go ahead and tickle him a little bit. One down. So we're protecting the boat here. Bro, I'm going to need you to shoot a little bit more. I'm going to need you to put a little bit more effort into this. Damn, do you go through ammo, though. All right. Uh, let's get a heading. Come on. Tail gunner. Got him. There it is. Very nice. Uh, we have a enemy ship over here. I'm going to need the front gunner to get down on the bomb site. Open the doors. Give me some bombs here. And let's see if we can handle this thing. Right, that's another one down. Let's keep moving. The second we get any of these turds on radar, we're definitely going to want to take shots at them. Go ahead and give it to me. Give me a heading. Give me a heading. All right, so second bay bombs. Bring this thing around. Let's get rid of this U-boat. We got 30 seconds. This one we should be able to... We should be able to stop that one from going wrong. So that was bombs away. Very nice. So we've got enemy gun emplacements coming up next. Uh, run us lean, please. We're at half fuel for right now. We'll boost when necessary, but for right now, I just want to conserve a little bit. Uh, we have an electrical failure. Take care of it, gentlemen. Take care of it. Navigation. Electrical system is down. Uh, that means radar is going to be sketchy. There it is. I knew we had something over here. Alright, you focus. You get up in there. There you go. There you go. Put some heat on them. Give them some love. Don't let them get near the plane. Uh, new course is ready to go. It looks like we got to get rid of some gun emplacements or something over here. So that is precisely what we're going to attempt to do. Uh, repair is done, so let's get him back to his original console. Enemy guns along the coast. Let's do our thing. Alright, you're low on ammo. Go ahead, restock. Restock. Uh, we got somebody firing over here. So let's get on it. And then while the ship rotates, get you back into the bomb site. Uh, let's go ahead and doors are still open. Enemy fighters are, of course, spotted on radar because my life can't be simple. Okay. And as soon as we are free of this... We want to go after that right there. Just keep this nice and tight. Gunners are doing an okay job for right now. Uh, tail gunner, give me some focus. Just kind of use you guys one at a time to see what you can hit. Okay, that's another one down. Looking pretty solid right there as far as the firefight goes. Uh, give me my bomb sight, please. Bombs ready. And bombs away. Uh, we are taking fire from the ground. It's unfortunate because I don't want to take fire from the ground. Uh, while we wait, you guys ammo up. Alright. Uh, 
a bomb site. Give me the bombs, and we're good. Oh, we got another course, huh? Man, I ain't got that many bombs. Enemy fighters are on radar. Where are they at? Ah, Jesus, they're over here. There we go. Let's get them bagged and tagged, please. As soon as Broski starts to unload, we'll put him on focus. And hopefully he'll get them before they can even run on us. What we want to do now is if we can... Ooh, that was fantastic. I'm all around happy about that. Uh, front gunner, please. Go ahead and close the doors. Front gunner, get back up in there. We may need your additive firepower for right now. Tail gunner, put in a little bit more effort. There we go. That's what I like to see. Let's go ahead and turn that off. And it looks like we're solid for right now. Looks like we are rock solid. Oh, nope. A few more coming in. Right. What you got for me, Gunner? Oh, we got electrical systems down. Run me a little bit of repair loving over here. New armor seems to be holding pretty well, so I'm not going to panic about it too hard for right now. I need a new navigational heading, please. Radar is inactive. Yeah, I'm working on it. I am working on it. Enemy fighters are down. Let's go ahead and get our reloads in for right now. If you need ammo, your job is to go grab a box, please. Uh, we have an optional mission target over here. We are going to take that because I prefer to exceed expectations. What the shit is that? Uh, pull off. Pull off. I don't know what that is. Pilot, give us a corkscrew here. There you go. That's what I like to see. All right. If you can, give it to him. Give it to him. Shit, he's staying in right below us, unfortunately. Uh, you... Get back to your seat. I'm going to need a tighter mix here on the fuel. Okay. Uh, we are getting shot to shit right now. I have no way to get him out from underneath me. So let's go high altitude. Let's go. Yep. Force him off a ways. Put whatever you got on him. Uh, if you guys don't have any ammo left... Go ahead and go get some. What's busted? Oh, we're almost out of fuel. Okay, well, let's just focus on getting back home then. Let's just focus on getting back home. Gunners, if you have a shot, you should be taking that shot at full force. Uh, pilot... If he tries to do that underneath us shit again, emergency dive. There you go. Teach him a lesson. Get him, gunners. Get him. That's all you, gentlemen. Uh, we are almost out of fuel. We got five minutes remaining. I still don't know how to upgrade my fuel. So, unfortunately, I got no solution to this problem. I think we're good. I think. Let's get back down to low altitude and see what we can do here. We only got a couple minutes of fuel left. Huh. Fuel usage seems to vary pretty heavily, actually. Hopefully we're not way off heading, because if we are, we are toasty. Pilot, get the gear down and sit us down. Not a bad mission. A little stressful with whatever that heavy was. I think it was a plane like ours. Whatever it was, it was pretty good at killing us, so... 
You guys ain't got a lot of fuel left. I would strongly recommend you put this bitch down as soon as possible. Please. There you go. Glide it on downwards and let's get in here. Oh my god, I'm stressed right now. I'm stressed. My name is Splattercat. Thank you for joining me for another episode of Bomber Crew. If you want to see more, leave lots of comments and likes. It helps the channel out tremendously. Uh, other than that, I will see you all later. We've done a great job here today. We've got one of the critical missions done. Even though some things went wrong. Some things absolutely went wrong on that one. But this should be quite the little payday for us if we can keep ourselves going. The, stank, uh, the tank of stank is back. Very good. And, uh, yeah. Not too bad, not too bad. If you like what I do here on the channel, by all means, uh, stop on by again in the future. You can also check out my Twitch TV channel, where I play most of the games that I play here on the channel, but I play them in greater length. Uh, and then you can also have live interaction, where you can hang out and talk to me about stuff, like cars, or shoes, or, I don't know, beer or something. Alright, hi to everybody, I'll see you later.